G'day, welcome back to the channel. And whilst the season, the regular season, might be nearly over, we do have a very special event that's getting set up right now behind me. I'm in Jupiter, Florida for the Super Slam, which is the winners of the five major championships. Actually, EJ won two, so Jacob Buttruff slides into that final spot. But it's gonna be a big weekend. It's practice day today. We'll be bowling on the TV pair for a few hours. I'm going to show you what I'll be doing through the practice. And let's hope this weekend I'm super slamming pins around. Okay, so uh, the Super Slam is a dual oil pattern tournament. The right lane is the Ballad 36 foot oil pattern, and the left lane is the Petragulia 46 feet. So we have 10 feet difference in the oil patterns. Uh, and this is what I've kind of got out here. Is the first run test through the practice session and I'm going to explain why they're all on the rack. So the very first uh, bowling balls I'm going to try are the three pitch blacks. Now each of them roll a little stronger than the next so uh, whenever I get to any of the shorter oil patterns I don't know if I want them to roll super early and super strong or if I actually want to go to a weaker uh, pitch black to give me a little bit more length. So we try them all. I've got three that I really like and again, they all range in difference of earliness uh, in hook. Usually, after we throw the urethanes for a little while, we do move into reactive. And lately, I've been having a bit of success with the Idol Cosmos uh, and even the Fate. As they break down a little bit, the urethane stretches the shorter oil patterns. We get to kind of throw it at the gutter a little bit. I like to see something with a little bit more responsive. And again, these two, uh, they vary in responsiveness. So the Cosmos is a little smoother. Uh, it's a little earlier where the Fate gets a little bit longer down the lane and really wants to ping off that friction. Um, obviously, all of these may work or none of them may work. But that's why we have our practice sessions and our strategies. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if even on the 36 foot oil pattern. I may even want to go to something a little stronger like my idol, even a reality check, just to kind of see it kind of tumble off of the friction if either the cosmos or the fate is too angular. Uh, but generally speaking, when there's enough stretch in the oil pattern, I like to get a little further left. I like to see it really come off that friction a little stronger. On the Petragulia 46 foot oil pattern, I've kind of gone with a couple of oldies uh, and a couple of newbies. So the idol, um, it's just such a consistent shape. Um, I love to throw my idol when I can play it a little firmer and usually from the right. So I'm hoping the fresh will allow me to see a nice look with that particular ball. When I want to start to see a little bit more shape, then we move into the other one. So the reality check's been really great for me all season. Um, it's super, it's super continuous for me. It allows me to get that little bit further left, still have a big engine inside the ball without it feeling like it's so early that I just can't create any shape. The new duo as well has been really handy. I use it a lot at the Players' Championship. It's definitely a ball that likes to see um, kind of like a tumble feel down the end of the pattern. So not really angular, not super smooth, but definitely gets to the spot and wants to roll a little heavy. And then of course, Old Faithful with the phase two. That was, it's the actual same phase two that I used at the TOC to win. So this particular ball, it has been shined up. Um, it's got a little bit of lane shine on top of that now as well. It might need a freshen up, but it definitely allows me to get a lot further left, create that really loopy and, and calm and kind of controlled shape. Uh, I can also, depending on how the patterns are going down. If I need a little bit more angularity down lane, I can definitely go to a fate and kind of move that over into the 46 foot oil pattern if they break down and are forcing us players a long way left. So with all of this as kind of a gauge, something to kind of start us off with, it definitely puts me in the right direction on understanding the patterns. If everything I throw 
it, nothing feels like it's it's absolutely perfect that's when we talk to the tour reps we kind of talk it out explain what we're seeing what we think we're missing then we run out to the truck we drill something new but for now I feel pretty good with this little arsenal here um, it seems to cover a lot of the boxes but we won't know until we throw it Okay, uh, practice sessions, plural, um, are over. And look, the one thing that you'll just have to trust me on is the temperature in this building and uh, on set is more than normal. It, we, are, we are really, really sweaty and it is really, really hot. And that's going to affect lane play dramatically. So after seeing all the balls go down the lane, um, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing a lot of early hook on the left lane. We're seeing a lot of transitions happening frequently and that is partly because of the heat. The, the hotter it gets, the more the oil wants to be able to move around. And so, um, I think the pattern is, is pretty soft. I just think you're gonna see the players have to move maybe every frame, every second frame. Uh, and if you don't, you don't just ring 10 or four pin, like you, you go through the face. So, seeing that and being aware of that is good, good information. Um, it will, believe it or not, get even warmer for the TV shows because we're gonna have the crowd in. Uh, there'll be extra lighting as well. So yeah, you're looking at another few degrees warmer. Um, but choices uh, on both lanes, urethane looked okay for me. It, it definitely looked really nice when you could open up the lane, create that big curve. Um, and for that, you know, I was doing that with uh, the Wolverine Dark Moss, I like that, which I didn't have out on the rack before. That was an additional thought that my tour rep had, and it was a great idea. 
uh, the Cosmos looked great and the Fate looked great from the big curve. So um, I think all the players are going to really enjoy that right lane. On the left lane, um, we, we didn't even get a chance to use the bigger balls like the, the Idol or the Reality Check or the Duo. They all hooked too soon and were too lazy down lane. So straight off the bat was the Fate. Definitely rolled really, really good. But then it was time to make, like I said earlier, make those moves quickly and you got to get ahead of it. So from Fate down to, we actually got another idea that my tour rep Sean Ryan had was to get an original IQ tour out, um, which doesn't see that early friction so much, um, but still has a pretty good whip on the back end. So that came into play, uh, changing Fate's hand position and, and slowing down was another option. Um, honestly, I think those two were, were my better options. We did get like a long way left um, and kind of slow hooked the lane with the phase two, kind of like the way that I played them at the TOC. And it was okay, it was okay. So it might even come in as a last resort, maybe on the show day as well. Like, man, I, I don't feel very confident. Just fall back into something I'm really used to doing and that I feel really confident doing and create that big slow curve and that would be the ball to do it with. So all in all, learnt a lot, probably lost about two kilos in sweat, it's a good thing. Uh, and now it's just honestly, get something to eat, chill out, rest for the rest of the evening and then come in tomorrow for a massive long day. So I feel good, I'm ready. I have four of them from my other son, too, if you don't mind. So he's got a couple things he's going to tell you here. He's a two-handed bowler as well. He just finished third in the state. Oh, congrats, man. And he's got another yeah. one. Yeah. Lost a 278. Oh. 278 and lost a 280. Oh. And I just did that the other day with Bill O'Neill in the doubles. We shot 279 and lost. Cool. Oh, G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.